G'day everyone, Average Alexis here, hoping you're having a good one. And today, we are doing a reaction slash tutorial sort of thing. That word didn't come out right, I meant to say tutorial, not tutorial. Well, can't talk. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is kind of like a reaction tutorial if it looks any good. Not quite sure how this is gonna go, but yeah. This is basically just, I the other day noticed that um, a particular makeup brand that I sometimes use for, I think I use them for eyeliner and that sort of thing, uh, sells glitter lip kits. Um, and being the fact that I dress up a lot and that sort of thing, I figured, oh okay, it might be better than using the glitter paint that I have that I sometimes use. So, sorry, <laughs> I left it on the wrong side of the bench. So in this glitter lip kit, this Astralis glitter lip kit, you get the bonding stuff. Um, so it looks kind of just like lip gloss. Um, oh, 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 it smells really bad. Okay, um, that's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah, so you get the lip bonding agent, you get this two-ended brush thing Bob and your glitter I chose red because like they've got silver gold purple I think but I picked red because red is probably the most commonly used color that I use in regards to glitter on my lips um it just it's just sometimes when you do like a fairy or something like that it just adds to it and that sort of thing but yeah so I don't know how this is gonna go <laughs> Like, like I said, this is a reaction. This stuff stinks. So this is gonna be really interesting. I'm gonna, st I'm gonna sh maybe try and do it in full in like quarters, quarters. I cannot talk today. This is terrible. So. Ah, it feels kind of weird. one bit done. Feels a little bit odd, but this will be interesting. Okay, so Russian glitter. I mean, uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, I guess it looks okay. I won't really be able to pass judgment until I finish the whole thing, but so far so good. Not really, I'm looking at it in the mirror. Uh, I don't know. Doing this in a fall wasn't a good idea. This stuff smells really bad. Like really bad. Ugh. Not not pleasant at all. So I don't know how much glitter I'm supposed to be putting on. I don't have this problem with glitter paint. I shouldn't be talking while I'm trying to put stuff on my lips. This probably isn't the applicator I would use either. That side looks a little better than the other side. Still doesn't look fantastic, but again, it may look different when I'm finished. Ugh, this stuff is disgusting. The real test for me is how well it comes off because I more often than not have to race off somewhere else and the best thing 
about most of the stuff that I wear is I can get it off in the car in a hurry if need be. This is very messy. I'm getting glitter all over the bench. Oh god. I mean, it looks okay, provided you want to spend the time to make it look awesome, which I usually do. I have glitter all over my shirt. That's not a good thing. It, it's, it's all right. I don't, I'm not, it's not horrible. Oh, I did read the instructions before I started this, so I do kind of know what I'm doing. I'm not just going into this blind. I mean, it's all right. Oh God, that feels really weird though. I am very finicky about lipstick being even and if it's not even, it kind of, it really bothers me. That's my OCD kicking in, but I mean, oh, there's that little patch there that I missed, but yeah, I, it's not horrible. I, I suppose it'd be all right to use. It feels really funny on your lips. Um, it feels really scratchy, uh, luckily. So if you're someone who licks your lips a lot, you probably won't want to wear something like this. Um, yeah, luckily for me, I can go without licking my lips for ages. I can go without water for ages or anything that would disturb this, especially if I'm in a costume um, dressed up as a character or something. But. I'm not, yeah, it's not, it's not horrible. I thought it, well, I thought it would be worse than this. I don't know about the excess glitter that's everywhere else, like on my shirt and on my bench. And I don't know if it's now gonna come off of here because this has got some of the applique on it. And I, I, I mean, I could clean my brush, but <laughs> I'm not known for cleaning my brushes, but yeah, it looks, I'm not mad at it. It's okay. I mean, I hope you guys can see this. It, it looks all right. Ignore the patch that is missing there. But it does feel really odd and like, I do that a lot with my lips. I go, and it just, oh, it's not a nice feeling, but it does what it says. It's a glitter lip kit, like the glitter. Lip kit. <laughs> There's not really much else I can say, but the test for me will now be how easily I can get it off. Um, so it's kind of rubbing off on my finger if I do this. But as you can probably see, it's not exactly coming off of my lips, which is, that's good. I don't want lipstick that does that, that just comes off of my fingers. Um, lipstick that comes off, however, with warm water and a towel is a good thing. Um, because more often than not, I forget my makeup wipes <laughs> or forget my micellar water. Um, if I've got that, I currently don't have any at the moment, but yeah. So the real test for this will be how easily it comes off. Cause again, I like to run around and pack way too much stuff into my schedule and have to go from like a face painting at a birthday party to work and have to get something like this off of my face because it's not Halloween and we're not dressing up currently. So we'll see how this goes, but I've got warm water on a towel. So oh God. Oh God, it's like barely shifted. No, it has, okay. Oh, I thought for a second then it wasn't even coming off. I was like, oh, no, 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 that's not good at all. Okay, turn that off. 
Ow. It hurts though, like it's really hard to get it off. I am like scrubbing my lips. Oh, that's not a nice feeling. And I think I just got glitter on my tongue. Ew. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 ew, ew. I can feel the residue of the bond, the lip bondings. Oh, that's gross. No, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. I probably do need makeup wipes right now. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, sorry for all the funny faces. <laughs> I don't like not being able to get stuff off my lips. That's not good. Okay, so it's basically gone. Warm water and a towel. Okay, that's good. But my issue is now I am like scratching off. The reason I'm scratching my lips is I'm scratching off bits of the bonding agent. Like the glitter, it has come off, but the stuff that I use to put the glitter, to stick the glitter on there has not. Oh, that doesn't feel nice at all. Oh, ow. Oh, uh, okay. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm kind of back to normal. I might have some residue glitter in other places, but to me it looks not too bad now. So, overall, not a bad idea. Um, I mean... If it came down to it, I'm the kind of person that doesn't like to waste makeup, so I probably will use this in the future, um, just to get rid of it kind of thing. But for me, I think it's gonna be far easier to stick to using my glitter paint, because that I can put on with my finger, and I can layer it on, ugh. Ew, ow. <laughs> Um, glitter paint I can put on with my finger and I can layer it on as much as I want so I can have it as thick as I want and it's much more vibrant than that is but I mean I will use it probably partially my fault for not having makeup wipes on hand to <laughs> to wipe it off but yeah no so that was just a little reaction to the Australis lip glitter lip kit Blah, blah, blah. Try saying that 10 times fast. But yeah, so, you know, it was okay. It wasn't fantastic, it wasn't horrible. It felt horrible and it smelt horrible, but other than that, it was pretty good. So, that's a wrap for this video. Thanks heaps for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. Believe in yourself and be you, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!